And now troops across the nation are wondering what's next with Iran. Will they be going overseas and what awaits them there? And that's all too familiar for one local World War II veteran and Iwo Jima survivor. During the years of World War II, more than 6 million Americans voluntarily joined the U.S. military. I was a Marine Corps in the Marine Corps World War II. Including Clayton Narvison. I think 200 of us got injured in that. Five ships blew straight up, LSTs. The 96-year-old veteran lost friends in Iwo Jima, but is proud of the duty he served. Showing support for your country is a grand thing. Support for our military, which I support, I think that's a grand thing. He's watched over the decades as more troops are deployed into war zones as they are right now. There's always been wars, and sadly, there's always going to be wars. Narvison said people are not as eager to join the military as they were in his day. Cultures has all changed. People are against war. The local National Guard office says events like what happened in Iran will spark patriotism in some, but not enough to flood the recruiting offices. One Marines recruiter in Knoxville says they haven't seen a noticeable increase in people interested in enlisting. No, it's 109,000 Marines, and that's the smallest group we've ever had. The Tennessee National Guard spokesperson says they did not hit their recruitment goal last year, saying when the economy is good, enlistment is down. It ebbs and flows as the years go by. But for the troops planning to head overseas, Narvison has two words of advice. Do it. Do your best work that you can do and do your share. And we don't know what's next with Iran, and Narvison says that's a good thing. He says if we knew, it'd drive us crazy. We will continue to update you as that story in Iran develops.